Hi everyone, it's Anita Heidema and Dario Tomazelli with Passions Cooking. Cook together to stay together is what we say and what we do. Today we are going to be making... We're making what? Oh, I can never say it properly. Orecchiette. Orecchiette. We love cooking international food. And today we're going to be doing Italy, which is really exciting, and especially being an Italian that you are, it's Absolutely. easy to you. Sometimes. And it's so good. Well, this one is more like the simple Mediterranean diet. I think you can call it if you want to do that. So we're going to make orecchiette. Orecchiette, like we said, in the southern part of Italy, from Le Puglie, and it's classical orecchiette alla Varese. We use some simply broccoli, and we're going to cook them raw. We're not going to blanch them. We're going to have the flour of the broccoli, fresh tomato, anchovies for saltiness, fresh garlic, always with the germ remove, some parmigiano reggiano, and my twist is to use some fresh mint instead of basil. Gives you a little bit more of a different texture, different effect, a little bit more of acidity. Now to make the dough. Okay, so I like to start in a large bowl, so it's easy for me to incorporate all the ingredients, and then we're gonna transfer to, uh, to the kind board. Okay, so we got some Durum semolina, fairly fine durum semolina. Coarse will be okay also if we use it. So we're gonna put them on the bottom. Okay. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna work with a whisk. So we're gonna incorporate the, the gluten from the semolina and the water together. So Anita's gonna mix it. This is hot boiling water. And you see sometimes, you know, it gives you a little bit more, a thinner consistency. So, yeah. So we're gonna add a little bit more semolina if needed and then we're going to incorporate some simple bread flour and so we actually work in the gluten of the flour and the semolina so we're going to see oh yes perfecto so we're going to transfer on that flat surface like that so as you can see it's fairly simple okay so what we're going to do is working it's called kneading so we fold it inside and we push it Okay, so we have the our dough, we just cut a little piece on it, we'll put a little bit of semolina. And that stops it from sticking on the board, exactly. right? And then we're going to make some little sausages, basically. And we're going to roll them. Little exactly, so what we're going to do, we're going to roll them. So here we go, so at this point in time, okay, we try to keep it as simple as possible. We're going to cut little gnocchetti, and then with your little big finger, you're just gonna make a little incision like that, okay? Like little incision. Look at these cute little things, I love them! And everyone is different, so it it's, makes it a little bit more personal, this kind of pasta. This is your from your personal pasta ink. <laughs> uh, so we have just the pasta, it's gonna dry out. Remember, if you wanna keep it, we can dry them, okay? Put them in the freezer until they're completely solid, and then you can put in little bags. One thing we want to talk about is tomatoes. Sometimes when they are not in season, they could be a little bit rubbery and bland. So what I like to do is just slice the little tomato, add a pinch of salt. So what is the salt is going to do is going to release the water and then flavor with a little bit of fresh mint. And if you want, if you really want, you can add also some slivers of garlic. What's going to happen? What we are making actually is called tomato water. Okay, so the tomato is going to release all the water, it's going to release the remaining nutrients that it has, and it's going to give a better flavor to your pasta. Now for this specific region, garlic is definitely not something we're going to be too shy for. Mm -hmm. So we're, I'm going to put probably a clove, a clove and a half of it. The good thing about making this dish, as we making the sauce, we're cooking the pasta because the water of the pasta is gonna be extremely important for us to make the manticatura, or the emulsification of the pasta. Get the orecchiette out of the water, okay? 
So we use a little bit of the pasta water just to give a little bit more on emulsification. Okay, just a little bit. And now we're gonna cook. So it's very important that the pasta cooks with the sauce, at least for two or three minutes. You can't take it out of the water, put them in the sauce 30 seconds and go to the plate because it's really not gonna absorb all the starches of the sauce. And you see the starches are actually developing this beautiful little flavor around it. So two more seconds, we're gonna cook it and then we're gonna finish with our Parmigiano Reggiano and we're gonna go to the plate. Okay, so here we have the beautiful pasta. Mm, Smell. It smells so good. Also, did you notice that the broccoli actually released some of the, the green? Oh yeah. Look at that. So we have the beautiful, that was the important part of cooking the pasta into the liquid. So we're gonna add some fresh meat here and we're gonna break it down in little pieces. If you wanna do maybe a couple more, just like this. So why we, we don't wanna chop it? Because we don't wanna ruin the chlorophyll or the fresh herbs. We wanna have the freshness. So as we're doing that, we call it mantecatura in Italy, or emulsification. We're gonna add olive water. You love your olive oil. And more is the better. <laughs> okay. So this one we're gonna create. It's gonna create a little bit of fat with some more fat, which is parmigiano reggiano. So here we go. So just a quick look at the colors. See the color? Wow. This is phenomenal. Broccoli, tomato, flour, and water. It's not that difficult to make. Ready? So you have a bit of everything. Mm. Mm. The most amazing thing about this one, you see the water and the flour working together. You have the little gumminess, mm -hmm. okay? Then you need it. You need the, the heaviness on the pasta and the sauce. Look at the sauce, the way it's developed. Mm -hmm. Isn't it beautiful? Simple recipe. Another masterpiece. Thank you, my dear. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us today. And we hope you subscribe so you don't miss anything more that we've got going on with Pasha's Cooking Lifestyle TV. And also come on over to Facebook and Instagram. We've got some great tips. We've got our Foodie Friday. We've got our Tip Tuesday, Wellness Wednesday. We've got so much wonderful information for you over there as well. And all of these recipes that we have are available at passionatecooking.com. Please leave a comment to let us know your thoughts. We always want to have some new ideas that we can share with you. Thanks so much everyone for joining us. Ciao for now. Ciao, ciao.